five foot four high school gym sneaking a cupcake. These are my memories, these are my memories. Shooting hoops off the rim, slow on the uptake. These are my memories, these are my memories. After gym, the locker room, my eyes photographing. Naked me measures in it four and a half inches. These are my memories, these are my memories Of one lone black gay boy I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord One lone black gay boy I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord Guilt and shame, Jesus' name, church every Sunday These are my memories, these are my memories Eat his body, drink his blood, communion buffet These are my memories Sweet sour memories. After church, we're driving home to Radio Crackle. Jazz music or Motown blues and skin as a shackle. For one lone black gay boy, I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord. One lone black gay boy, I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord. These are my memories. Sweet sour memories. This is my history. This is my mystery. Mom is napping on the couch and dad cuts the grass while I watch TV all day long, young and the restless. Like one lone black gay boy I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord. One lone black gay boy I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord. Dad is drunk and on the couch and mom eats a pork chop. Daily bread mill, daily treadmill won't ever stop. One lone black gay boy I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord. One lone black gay boy I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord. I am lying on the couch, I dream that I'm flying. Flapping both my wings so hard to keep me from dying. With the crown of God's forsaken thorns on my head. Like all those black gay boys I knew who chose to go on back to the Lord. All those black gay boys I knew who chose to go on back to the Lord. All those black gay boys I knew who chose to go on back to the Lord. And one of black gay boy I knew who chose to turn his back on the Lord. of you and I engaged in a kiss. The sweat of my body covers you. Tell me, my darling, can you picture this? If you can, a courtyard. An ocean of violets in bloom. Animals strike curious poses. They feel the heat. The heat between me and you. How can you just leave me standing alone in a world that's so cold? Why are you just so demanding? Maybe you're just like my father, too bold. Maybe you're just like my mother. She's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry. (laughs) 
Touch, if you will, my stomach. Feel how it trembles inside. You've got the butterflies all tied up. Don't make me chase you, even doves have pride. standing? Alone in a world so cold. Maybe I'm just too demanding. Maybe I'm just like my father, too bold. Maybe you're just like my mother. She's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Why do you just leave me standing alone in a world so cold? Maybe I'm just too demanding. Maybe, Maybe I'm, I'm just, just like my father, father too bold. bold. Maybe, Maybe you're just like my mother. She's never satisfied. She's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This oh, is what it sounds like when doves cry. When doves cry. When doves cry. Eric Schmollenberger. Thanks for coming out tonight. You guys sit there. You look great. Um, Julian, thanks for having me. This is a little weird for me, you guys. I'm not really a comedian. I'm more of a feminist performance artist, and we don't find anything fucking funny. <laughs> so I was just going to come out and stand here angrily and let you all watch my rage build until someone said, show us your tits, and then I just let someone fucking have it. <laughs> Uh, no, but it's a great crowd here tonight. Um, so, you know, people often say to me, don't you think it's a little ironic that you call yourself a feminist, but you usually perform naked? And I'm like, no, that's marketing. But people, you know, or guys will say, oh, feminists hate men. Now that's crazy, y'all. Feminists don't hate all men. Some of my best friends are men I hate. Um, no, but you know, I don't know why things that are good are meant to sound bad, you know what I mean? Like feminism, composting, or sucking dick, you know? I mean, think about it, it sounds bad, but it's, I thought that's something people want to happen, you know? I don't mean the people, the people like, suck more dick, suck more dick, we're not going home to suck all the dicks. I don't know what the <laughs> slogan is, but um, but you know, I'm just like, I thought people wanted dick sucked, you know? Like a bunch of people, and I mean, not like half the people. He knows what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'm just like, you should make it sound awesome. So I'll be like, I'll suck a dick. I'll suck all the dicks. Give me the dicks, you know? Uh, you just got to reclaim the language, you know? So you could be like, God damn, I can't wait till Hillary's president. She sucks dick. You know, or uh, you get a piece of mail and you open it up and you're like, well, suck a dick, I just passed my bar exam. <laughs> you know, or you go home for the holidays and you're just like, mama, did you make this? Because this meatloaf is sucking my dick right now. <laughs> She's like, it is so good to see you, sweetheart, even though you don't have kids. <laughs> but you guys, when I'm sucking dicks, uh, <laughs> Guys will say to me, like, hey, do you swallow? And I'll be like, sure, why not? <laughs> There's so many reasons why not to, right? He knows what I'm talking about. Uh, but one time, this really lovely guy asked me really sweetly. He was like, hey, do you swallow? And I was like, sure, why not? I'm the youngest in a big family, so I'm a real people pleaser, just ask. Um, <laughs> So, you know, we do it, I do it, I'm like, gulp, you know. Meanwhile, I'm like, who ordered the cream of mushroom soup? <laughs> okay, most of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, 
but you know, he had been so excited like that. You should have seen his face. So when I did it, he was like, oh baby, you are fucking amazing. And I was like, I know, but I'm also bulimic. <laughs> now you should have seen the look on his face. And then I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I know what you guys are talking about. That's fucking hot. And then I came too and I felt so understood. Uh, usually I'm getting the light by now or uh, someone's yelled, show us your tits, but uh, it's okay, I'll keep going. Um, uh, uh, I'll, uh, that's okay, I can work on my feet. Um, hey, any lesbians in the house? Yeah. Yes, hey ladies. Uh, any trans people in the house? Really? Okay. Um, uh, any dudes in the house? Hey, nice one, okay. I'll uh, go for a classic. Um, okay, so a lesbian, a trans person, and a dude walk into a bar. Wait, fuck, they'd never be at the same bar. Hold on. Um, no, okay, well, it's okay, I got it. Okay, a lesbian, a trans person, and a dude walk into an ice cream parlor, and they all get some ice cream, they have that in common. Uh, where's this going? Uh, but it's real hot out, everyone, it's real hot and it starts melting, it's melting everywhere, and a real panic sets in, you know, and eventually the dude's like, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? And um, the girl behind the counter, fuck, sorry, the woman behind the counter, um, she goes, just lick it. And the lesbian's like, that's what she said. And the trans person was like, that's what they said. And the dude was like, what is happening? Thanks, you guys have been great. Thank you so much. What? Someone actually just yelled, show us. I did not expect show us your tits here at WNYC. Did you really yell that? Fine, hit it. <laughs> Are y'all feeling all right? Yeah. Can I get a yes? Yeah. I see a whole lot of beautiful people in the crowd. What's up, lady? Ow! I see wonderful children. I see a community of people who are going to go out and vote. Can I get a yes? Everybody has a dream and they own. Hearing our favorite song on 
Tonight, baby. 